Voodoo Child. Stevie Ray Vaughan, first time reaction coming up in 30 seconds. Hey everybody, this is Matt Criscuola coming to you up close and personal. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you have already, thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. Hey, listen, this one came requested by Dev Helen. She's one of the supporters of the channel. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you can take a look at the description below because there's a few different ways you can show some love and support as YouTube does not monetize like 99% of my videos. So it really comes down to support and um, your donations. So Nadia Holmes, Divina Albe Carolina, Holger Voigt, Jan Dahlen, Christine, Paul Clark, Lynn Schulman, Max, Maxwell Kenny, uh, Christina Hidalgo. Thank you so much for your support and your love. I appreciate that. Let's get right to the music, shall we? Bam! <laughs> That's really woo. That's really stanky. It's got stank. I'll tell you, that guitar is not very pretty, is it? What is that, a Fender? Uh, it is not a pretty guitar, but it's pretty in a way, you know? Um, as a saxophonist myself, I have been known to really like to play saxophones that look like they've been outside buried in the backyard for a few years, you know, with green shit on it, and, you know, it just looks like it's been around the block a few times. I like that. But then conversely, I also like saxophones that are quite pretty, not too flashy, but definitely something that's newer and prettier um, for different reasons. But uh, at the end of the day, man, you look at who's behind that, that thing, man. That thing could have been buried out in the backyard and listen to the way it sounds. That's because Stevie Ray has, you know, he's got the, he's got the magic fingers, man. He's got the magic touch. <laughs>
just no frills, no bullshit, just guitar, bass, and drums, power trio, powerful sound, big, fills the room, and you know, right here, man. Tight band. Yeah. I didn't need to take up on your sweet time. Give it back to you. We need to never repeat. You, that makes me want to play the guitar and that's actually one of the reasons why i actually picked up the guitar a few months ago i haven't been practicing because i've been busy with these reaction channel with this reaction channel i have been this is where i've been devoting my time and energy um but it gave me a newfound respect for the guitar i get it a little bit more now than i did before i'm a saxophonist so i mean i have a different approach to you know music i went more towards jazz and i've been playing blues like this you know since you know a long time ago so i get this too don't get me wrong it's all connected it goes back to the blues anyway um but as far as like being able to appreciate what the guitar can do in the right hands in a trio especially like this man it makes me want to that's what i was dreaming of when i picked up the guitar i wanted to be able to get to this point where i could play this you know this style and and with this kind of configuration um but yeah stevie ray vaughn man woo wee damn damn
Yeah. Actually, you know, when, the way he was manhandling that guitar kind of reminds me of uh, sometimes the way I would play my saxophone, you know, uh, not being polite with it, actually roughing it up. Roughing it up to the point where I would shake it so hard sometimes that it would actually, you know, sometimes it needs some regulation and some tightening of some screws because I, you know, I was a little rough with it. But sometimes that's what you want to do. Hey, look, you've seen some of these guys take their guitar and the, and break it right on the stage. I get that, man. I, don't, I would never do that to anything like that I own. But I get that that when you get to that point, you know, and here he is on that whammy, you know, just like hitting that and shaking the guitar. I dig that. You know, I feel that. Um, hey, another guitarist that I just was reminded of that I really like is James Blood Ulmer. If you haven't checked him out, check him out. He was just a great guitarist, um, but um, very innovative. You know, what can I say? I mean, uh, even Frank Zappa was, you know, for, for what it's worth, if you like that kind of thing, you know, had that kind of funky shit going on. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Haven't really done a ton of listening to him, um, but uh, but whenever I do, and this is the first time I'm reacting to something with headphones on listening to him, so I'm like really getting into the nuance of what he was doing, and I got to say, man, he was a force to be contended with, deserved every kind of accolade that he got. He was a bad dude, man. Bad dude, can play his hiney off, and... You know, that trio, who was in that band right there, by the way? Bass and drums, who was that? Where was this? Let me know in the comments. Guys, please, thanks so much for your requests. I appreciate that. You say jump, and I ask how high. That's the way it goes around here. Uh, nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And you take it easy, and if it's real easy, take it twice. <laughs>